A Night Before Karbala As the moon cast its gentle glow over the desert sands of Karbala, Imam Hussein gathered his family and loyal companions under the starry night sky. The air was thick with a mixture of solemnity and resolve, as they all knew that the dawn would bring an unimaginable trial. With tears welling in his eyes, Imam Hussein gazed at the faces of those he loved most, faces etched with both fear and unwavering faith. His heart ached, not for himself, but for the suffering that awaited his dear ones. Yet he knew that their sacrifice would echo through the ages as a testament to their unyielding spirit and devotion to the truth. Imam then delivered a speech attributed the night before the Battle of Karbala, which is based on historical accounts and traditional narratives. Quote, My dear companions and family, the hour is late, and we stand on the precipice of destiny. Tomorrow we face a trial like no other, a trial that will test our faith, our courage, and our resolve. I have called you here tonight not as a leader, but as your brother, your friend, and your fellow servant of Allah. The enemy that surrounds us is vast and merciless, driven by the tyranny of Yazid. They seek to crush the spirit of Islam, to distort the teachings of my grandfather, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and to enforce their reign of oppression and corruption. They have offered us no choice but submission or death, and we have chosen the path of righteousness, even if it leads to martyrdom. I want to be clear. I do not ask you to stay with me out of obligation or loyalty to me personally. You are free to leave. Under the cover of night, you can find safety and return to your families. The enemy seeks only my life. It is me they want. I release you from any allegiance to me. This is your chance to save yourselves. But if you choose to stay, know that you stand not just with me, but with the truth, with justice, and with the memory of our beloved prophet. Our struggle is not just for today, but for all time. We fight so that future generations will remember that we stood firm against tyranny, that we did not waver in the face of overwhelming odds, and that we upheld the values of Islam even unto death. The sacrifices we make tomorrow will not be in vain. Our blood will water the tree of faith, and our martyrdom will be a beacon of hope for all who seek justice and righteousness. Our enemy believes that by silencing us, they can extinguish the light of Islam. But they are mistaken. The light of truth cannot be extinguished by mere violence. It shines even brighter in the face of oppression. My beloved family, my loyal companions, let us remember that this life is but a fleeting shadow. Our true reward lies in the hereafter, with Allah, where no tyrant can reach us and no injustice can harm us. Let us face tomorrow with courage and faith, knowing that we are on the path of righteousness. Let our deeds speak for us, let our sacrifice inspire others, and let our legacy be one of unwavering commitment to the truth. Tonight, as we gather here, let us pray together, seek forgiveness for our sins, and prepare our hearts for what is to come. Know that I am proud of each and every one of you. Your bravery, your faith, and your loyalty are a testament to the strength of our cause. May Allah grant us the strength to endure, the courage to fight, and the peace that comes from knowing we are on the path of righteousness. If tomorrow brings death, let us embrace it with open hearts, for we die not in defeat, but in victory, a victory of the Spirit, a victory of faith, and a victory of justice. May Allah be with us, and may our sacrifice be accepted in His sight. Peace be upon you, my dear ones. Let us rest tonight, and may our hearts be at peace, for we are in the hands of Allah.